Chris from Hexamatic. In this uh, video, I want to go through our brand new RSS extractor automation and talk about some ideas and use cases of how you can use this in your business. So let's get started. Um, to use it, go to uh, workflows and we're going to create a brand new workflow. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a data input. And for this data input, we're going to find the RSS feed of our own website. So I'm going to go to um, the uh, Hexamatic Academy as an example. And if you have a, uh, a WordPress site, usually the RSS feed is found at uh, your, your blog for slash feed, or it could be for slash RSS. Uh, you can also do this on websites that you're interested to uh, capture, you know, latest articles or posts from. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to use uh, our blog and we're going to capture the RSS feed for it. And then we're going to run some interesting actions on it. So I'm just going to add it here. I'm going to use the RSS um, extractor here, and I'm going to choose the data input as a source. Now, what we can do is, uh, with the RSS feed, uh, we can perform certain actions. Um, so let's imagine that we wanted to have a audio version of um, our posts. So what we could do, in this case, we go on uh, AI text-to-speech. Um, here we would choose the RSS um, item description. We can choose the, the type of voice we want. Choose uh, one, of the, one of the voices. Um, and this is going to uh, create a voiceover for the, um, for the description part. Uh, now you can configure your RSS feed uh, to provide the full article or it could be like a teaser. So um, in our case we, we only have like a teaser but you can also configure your website to have a full RSS feed as well. Um, next, another cool thing you can do using the uh, RSS feed is you can translate uh, content as it, as it comes. So in this case, I'm going to use the uh, Google Translate uh, automation and I'm going to choose our RSS uh, feed item title and description. And I'm going to choose to translate from English. And as an example, I'm going to choose uh, translate in French. And we could also translate in, say, Spanish. Say, for example, we wanted to capture a screenshot of each new post, uh, either to archive it or have it as a, as a reference. Uh, we could also add this. Uh, to our workflow. So here I'm just going to choose there. And what you can do is you can select the device type. In this case, I'm just going to go for a, a, a full size desktop. But you could also specify, for example, a mobile device. So I'm just going to save this and run. And I'm just going to download one I did earlier. Here. So in this instance, we, uh, we put in our RSS feed of our own website. Now again, this could be any website. So you could be um, a industry website that you want to be covering or follow. Uh, it could be a competitor's website. It could be your website. Um, here are the uh, titles which were picked up by the RSS uh, automation, uh, the links to each item, uh, this is our description text. Now, in our case, we're using an excerpt, but you could also configure it to provide a, a full, um, full article in here. And here is the translation in French of the title, Spanish, the description translation in French, in Spanish. And here we have our text-to-speech. So here, I'm just going to play the, one of the orders. 
SARS Battles, the independent software as a service review platform recently awarded Hexamatic the winner in its category in a three-way battle against other web scraping platforms and selected Hexamatic in their Hall of Fame 2021. But so um, here we can dynamically create um, text-to-speech um, using, uh, this is powered by the Google Voice uh, engine. Uh, and here we have, for example, the screenshots. So um, here are a few of the screenshots uh, captured. And there are lots of different use cases you, uh, you can apply it with. Um, in terms of performing automated actions on fresh data that can come from it. So you can use it for competitors' websites, you can use it on your own. And um, combined with things like translation, uh, transcription, uh, sorry, uh, voiceovers, uh, and uh, screenshot captures, uh, there's a lot you can do here. So, hope that was helpful. Have a great day ahead.